we're halfway through a historic 24 hours. Yeah. We got the State of the Union last night, which was just outrageously good in my opinion. And then uh, in at what, 4 o'clock this afternoon, the Senate's going to vote to acquit. Yeah, this is a, it's an amazing slice of history, this 24-hour yeah. window. Yeah. And to be there last night was just amazing. Uh, on the floor of the House, I started out by shaking the president's hand as he mm. came in yeah. uh, and thanking him for yeah. the work that he's done. And then, boy, when he started into that speech, I think those Democrats uh, had super glue on their, on their seats because they refused to stand up for the, I mean, just if he had said apple pie or baseball or, mm. I mean, at times he, he could have come out and said, I like socialism and they would have, they would not have clapped and they would not have gotten up. That's right. I mean, no matter what he said, even if it was stuff they've always been for, they, I mean, he, he, he talked about many things that they have been for. And they couldn't applaud. They couldn't applaud at at uh, the lowest unemployment rate, the lo- the highest employment rate for African Americans ever, the highest uh, uh, employment rate for uh, Hispanics and Asians, women, nothing, nothing, nothing. It w- it was incredible. He got a few of them to clap for criminal justice reform. Right. Because they co-sponsored the bill, but even people that voted for that bill wouldn't get up and clap or even acknowledge that the president did something good by signing the bill. Let me ask you this: um, Last year, I was your guest uh, at the State of the Union, and um, I felt it was. Remember, the the president was kind of uh, he was almost squirrely at a couple of times. He'd go, "Come on, you can clap for that." Remember? He yeah. He would look over right, to the right. left and go, "Come on." And it was still a little good-natured. Right. Last night, I felt from them hatred. I mean, I that room was full. They hate him. Seething. Seething, Seething hatred. hatred. And, you know, I shook the president's hand when he came in. To do so, I had to sit on the aisle. Yeah. So I was just a few feet from those Democrats who would not stand up for the president for anything, for anything good about America. And I would look over at them, and literally I could lean over and touch mm-hmm. some of them and just look at them in the eyes and, and think, what is going through your head right now? Why, what is it that you hate about this man so much that you're going to be so spiteful and hate our country? I mean, when he just talked in generalities about the country and how we need to put Americans first, they wouldn't stand up. Not a single one of them could I see clapping when he said we need to put America and Americans first. Right. I mean, there were things last night that he said. I thought this was a wildly uniting speech because there were things in there that pissed me off. You know, when he was Me talking too. about... Me too. Me too. Yeah, high-speed internet yeah, yeah. for everybody. I'm like, that's not the government's job. <laughs> right. And that's one of the things that they were demanding uh, before was high-speed internet, high-speed internet for everybody. Well, good, I'm, I'm for that. Let's have companies do that, not the United States government. And they, I know, because how long did we spend on the stupid internet thing? Remember, if you're oh, a mother. Oh, yeah. Uh, what was the the Lum- Lumbee tribe? Yeah, the, the Lumbee, Lumbee tribe. tribe. Right they didn't have that one clip. They didn't He's... have any uh, they didn't have any high speed Internet. And Obama wanted high speed Internet for everybody here. He's proposing it and they won't stand up. They won't even clap. He didn't mm-hmm. extend an olive branch. He extended an olive tree. He did. And an olive orchard. He did. Okay? He did. And they didn't take any of it. the family leave act. I mean, yeah. holy cow. By he, the way, I didn't vote for the Family yeah. Leave Act. And the, I, and, I, and, I know and, that. And he's proposing to extend it. Extend it. Yeah, yeah. To private companies. Right. Right. And to me, that was, he was trying to build a bridge to the yeah, Democrats. Yeah, he was. It was a, that was a bridge a little far. Yeah. But. Well, all the stuff he talked about the unions. Right. He talked about the unions last night. And, of course, the, the new NAFTA agreement was a gift to the unions. Nothing. Nothing. Crickets on, on their side. Um, and, I mean, that's just incredible because some of those folks have co-sponsored those bills. Right. Some of them voted for those bills. Right. But they just hate him so much. 
this is so how are we going to get through the next four and a half years oh you know he's got to spank him at the ballot box again yeah. for them to learn that he's in line with american americans and they're not. I mean, this was basically laying the framework for the 2020 election or, or the stark contrast. Mm -hmm. I mean, it wasn't about an election, but you could see the stark contrast between what President Trump stands for and what the Democrats stand for. And mm -hmm. he put he laid out a vision for America. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, state state of the unions or uh, speeches are supposed to be and and oftentimes are hopeful and he did that at the end i mean he was talking about that was the best speech that's the best speech he's given last year i thought it was the best speech he's given he's good at this which Stu and i were talking about it never would have expected him to be good at a state of the union address because he's just not a great reader and not great speech giver yeah he's good off the cuff in yeah. his own way i expect good rallies I expect good one-liners at debates i right. wouldn't expect uh but this a was great a... state of the union he's good at. Them. i think yeah. this yeah. was a redefining of the state of the union address i think this one i mean when you know there were so many that thing is boring as snot every year let's be honest <laughs> But there were so this many. This one was anything but boring, especially oh, yeah. if you were in the room. I don't know how this. How did it translate? Not in the room, Stu. Could you feel the hatred? <sighs> Not as much as you're saying. I mean, they certainly. You could hear jeers occasionally. Oh, they were. Um, they were nonstop. Yeah, they were Incredible. nonstop. You can't hear um, what's really going down on the floor. I no. mean, you can't hear it. You can't see it. It was nonstop. They got to a point. Towards the end, I don't know if you noticed this, Thomas, but you were close enough yeah. to it. They got to a point to where one one woman actually put her head in her hands and just laid down in her own lap, just like I I can't do it anymore. Um, I watched two or three of them walk out. Yeah, mm -hmm. three which, of them I saw. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and literally at times he had to speak over them yeah. because they were jeering so loudly. Now, if you were watching it on TV, the sound was being picked up by his microphone. So you wouldn't have gotten the entire ambiance right. of the room, right. which at times was, was jeers from the Democrats. Right. And he just, instead of acknowledging them, he or, just plowed he through. He plowed through all that. Yeah, it, it, he, he did. I mean, that was an expert last night, an expert performance at... Um, just plowing through. And I wondered if you heard that because many, many times he was being jeered by them and he just raised his voice and he just didn't stop. Yeah, no. And I, that's what we're going to... And That was smart because you, it was not detectable largely. I yeah. wish it was. Yeah. I really, I, I really mm. wish people could see the State of the Union the way I've seen it the last two years because you... It's a totally different world. Can I admit to breaking with decorum at one point in yeah. his speech? Uh, in the beginning, we started chanting. We started a little chant where I was, four more years. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I don't yeah, know yeah. if that came out oh, on TV. I heard it. Did, did you hear that? that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I participated in that. <laughs> <completely. laughs> yeah. It was. And you know what's funny is every time the, the Republicans really responded with, yeah. Yeah was when he was covering for them. That's right. It, 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 and it, I mean, can I admit? Yes. Can I admit They something? didn't drag you out of the gallery. They didn't drag me out of the gallery, but uh, they might have. Uh, but uh, there was a couple of times to where I didn't necessarily even fully agree with, you know, the, the I, I, I agreed with it, but I wasn't like, yeah. But because they jeered, mm -hmm. when people started to clap, I was first on my feet going, yeah, yeah. you know, and the guys next to me, I was with this guy from uh, Oklahoma, and the other one was, oh, I can't remember where the other one was from, and a guy from North Dakota in front, and they were, they were MAGA guys, yeah. and they, they were lifting the roof off. Well, the group that I sat with, um, we resolved every time that we heard the Democrats jeering at him while he was trying to speak that when he was done speaking that we would clap twice as loudly. You heard it. Yeah. You heard it. You heard that, at least in the room.